What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come you guys with another video. Coming at you guys with my Eagles Broncos Week 10 preview. This will be the Eagles' second straight late afternoon, 4 o'clock game against, the, against their second straight AFC West um, opponent. Eagles coming to this game after a very, very disappointing loss to the um, Los Angeles Chargers in Week 9. Denver Broncos, um, this is also their straight of our division. They played the Cowboys last week, went to um, Dallas and got a, what I think a lot of people would say was a upset victory. So they're coming to this game against their second straight in, NFC East um, opponent, um, of course, the, us, the Eagles. Um, they're, they're riding pretty high right now. The Broncos, you know, going into Dallas and absolutely embarrassing the Cowboys on uh, um, in, in Dallas. Um, you know, giving the Cowboys their second loss of the season. So the Broncos are definitely riding the high off of that. Eagles, on the other hand, like I said, disappoint, disappointed loss in week nine that if you watch my post-game video, I placed 90% of that blame. Pretty much, you know, but yeah, about 99.5% 90, 90, um, of the blame I placed on the defense. I think the defense was the biggest reason we lost that game. I thought that Jalen Hurts and the Eagles offense – did everything that we could have asked from them and more, and they they definitely, you know, put us in position to win. But the defense could not make, you know, they could not make the plays that we needed them to make them to win that game. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. That game's behind us. We now have to focus on the Broncos here in Week Ten. Like I said, Broncos coming off of a um, upset win against the Dallas Cowboys in Week in Week Nine. This, this is definitely a very um, solid football team here. They are in the playoff picture right now. You know, so this is definitely a team right now that is playing for something. They're playing for a playoff spot and potentially that division because right now the AFC West is wide open in terms of competitiveness right now. So the Broncos are definitely playing for something right now. And I expect them to come at us with, with all they have in this game. Now, I do believe the Eagles can win this game. It is a game the Eagles need to win. It's a must win if we want to have any chance of saving this season. But, like I said, right now, it's hard for me to pick, against, pick, for the, pick the Eagles against anybody right now. I, I'm picking the Broncos to win this game by a score of um, 28 to 24. I, I, don't, I don't expect this to be a blowout. I think it will be competitive. I think we will be in this game the whole way, all four quarters. But I think the Broncos will get the job done and beat us in, in the fourth quarter of this game. Um, Teddy Bridgewater has had a uh, pretty good year overall in Denver. He's had a uh, career resurgence, a career revival, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. I think this guy right here is definitely a. I think he's definitely um, a candidate for comeback player of the year, possibly. You know, he's had a. Pre, he's, so far, he's having a pretty decent year in Denver. Um, he, he, you know, Cortland um, Sutton, who was his number one receiver, the guy, that guy right there, fast, great route runner. You know, the guy, the guy, the guy's a great, you no, know, great blocker as well. One, you no, know, I, I think it's definitely one of the most underrated wide receivers in the game. Um, another another wide, uh, another um, underrated player on their offense is their tight end Noah Fant. I think he I think he is definitely a, a, a playmaker. You know, great hands, great blocking ability. You know, so you know he you know definitely some weapons there for um, Teddy Bridgewater to throw to. Now, defensively, we got to bring our best, man. Defensively, we have, we have got to play. We got to bring a much better effort than what we did last week against the um, Chargers. We have to get the pressure on Teddy Bridgewater. We got to try to force Teddy Bridgewater to make mistakes. If we cannot get the pressure on Bridgewater and force him into mistakes, it's going to be a long day in Denver at Mount High. Um, in Power Stadium, I think this is the official name of it, but it's also nicknamed Mount High after its predecessor and, and the elevation that is in Denver. So, um, yeah. No, um, defensively we got to bring better effort. We got to we got to contain these receivers. We have got to get the pressure on um, Teddy Bridgewater. Try to force a turnover or two if we can this game. If we could do that, then we could definitely control this game. Um, uh, offensively, you know, like I said, I, I you know offensively I feel like we we had a pretty good game last week overall. I thought um, you know J Jalen Hurst made some big plays with both his arm and his leg in that game, and um, you know. We just gotta come out in this game, uh, firing on all cylinders from the the, the um, you know the first snap to the end snap at the end of the game, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter. Gotta come at this, come at these guys, uh, rolling on all, you know, firing on all cylinders. Uh, if offense can, you know, can get it going early 
and keep it going throughout the game with that strong running game that's been going that's been going very well for us by the way in recent weeks and we've seen more much more success when it comes to running that football so another week um jordan howard you know uh game well um you know those guys man uh, sanders you know you know the running game you know the running game has got to get going early in this game and we have got we have got to wear them down Boston Scott another guy can't forget him you know either but we got to get this running game going early we have to really go at this this Broncos defense take you know take a lot of pressure off of Jalen Hurts um you know that will open up the play action pass and you know we got some playmakers like Smith of course you know um you know got we got some playmakers in the past in the you know receiving core you know, uh, I would like to see Greg Ward get more involved offensively. I, I wish they would start using him more, you know, more and more offensively. You know, uh, Chris Walker is another guy I want to see some plays out of. Jalen Rager, I'm hoping that he can, uh, you know, he can have a breakout, a breakout game to this, you know, this week. We'll see. But um, yeah, man, it's it's, it's going to start with the trenches, offensive line, defensive line. Got to come out and have a good game. Got to give, um, um, you know, Jalen Hurts is you no. Know, um, some good, you know, some good time, you no know, good amount of time to, you know, find a receiver in the past game. Got to open up those running lanes and run against this um, Broncos defense. Like I said, I'm picking the Broncos to win this game. Until the Eagles prove me wrong with their play on the field, I will continue to pick the opponent against us at this moment. Um, like I said, Broncos coming to this game riding high after a upset win against the Dallas Cowboys in Week Nine. So. This is definitely a team that's playing. That they're playing for something. They're not gonna just lay down and give us this game. We gotta go out there and endeavor and take it. But um, I'm picking the Broncos to win by a score of 28-24. Uh, but I'm hoping that the Eagles go out there with their play on the field and they prove me wrong. But they're gonna have to make sure that you know. I want to see a game where all three sides of the ball are playing well, not just one or two. I want to see offense play well. I want to see defense play well. And I want to see special teams play well. Can we please get a game like that? We have not really had a game like that this year. So, um, you know, so definitely got to get the pressure on. Like I said, get the pressure on Teddy Bridgewater, try to force him to make mistakes. You know, Cortland Southern, Nora Fant, those are two, um, you know, a, a very good receiver and a very good tight end who are, who are, in my opinion, are very underrated. Cannot let either one of those guys take over this game. Um, clog up that line, take away their running lanes, you know, take away the running game from them. Um, offensively, like I said, it's because you know it starts with our old line. They have got to open up the lanes and let's keep another let's keep this running game going because it's been going well the past few weeks. Continue to run that football, which will open up the pass the passing game because it will make the Broncos defense have to respect the running game. And once they once they come up and have to respect the running game, it will open up the passing game. So yeah. That's my preview for this week. Um, I'm hoping the Eagles go out there and they they go out there and prove me wrong when they play on the field. They go out there and they get the job done on the field, get get a win. We really do need a win. You know, we're at three and six. We we, we really need this win because you know coming up we got five um, division games coming up, and that that's gonna be that's a very crucial stretch right there. You know, very crucial stretch. You know, five division games in the in the uh, later half of the season. You know, if we can go on a winning streak here, then we then just maybe, just maybe we could actually get in the playoffs. Who knows? I'm, I'm, you know, when it comes to winning this division right now, I think the Cowboys are still the favorite to, to win it. They're running away with it right now, but I do think the Eagles could potentially sneak in in a wild card. You know, uh, in, in, you know, a wild card seed. You know, it just all depends on how they um handle these these you know the last few games of the season. Can can they go on a winning streak and get into the playoffs? Only time will tell, but it's definitely there for us to take. It's definitely right. The opportunity is definitely there. We just have to get. We just have to get it going. We have to get. You know, we have to get a, a, a streak of wins going here. You know, to you know finish this season out strong and, and see what happens. But um, yeah, that's my preview, man. Let's go, Birds, man. Go out there to Denver, beat these Broncos. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be easy. Like I said, this Broncos team is playing for. They playing for, not just for a playoff seed, but that division as well because the AFC West right now is a it, it's up in the air right now. It's up for grabs for anybody in that division that wants it. It's a, it's a very competitive division, so it's pretty much the opposite of our division. You know, I, you know, it's you know the AFC West is very competitive right now. Any any team in that division right now can win that division. So they're going to be playing for some. They're playing for that division, but we have to go out there. We're playing to try to possibly you know to, to try to save the season, get in the playoffs. So. 
I don't expect the Broncos to make it easy on us. And, and you know, we have to go out there and take it. But um, yeah, as always, go birds. Spunky nice and I want us out of here. Flag or fly, peace.